We now know what caused this deadly Hyde Park crash back in June that killed one person and destroyed this long standing business in the community. Tonight, the owner returns to this site of what's left, and News 12's Darius Radzius was there and brings us new details in this emotional story. Four months after a large construction truck plowed through the popular Junior's Lounge, the pile of debris here remains. I spoke with the owner who returned here for the first time since the crash in June. This is the first time I've been here since the accident. An emotional return for Louis Rossi, looking at all what remains of his business. There's not much to pick through, not much to find. In the debris of what was Louis Lounge, parts of the large truck that was pulling a dump trailer that plowed into the building in June still remains among the pile of rubble. <laughs> Rossi and two others remarkably escaped alive. Police say the truck driver, Craig Dixon Jr., who lost control of the truck, was intoxicated with a combination of fentanyl, morphine, and xylazine, a tranquilizer drug used on animals and is increasingly being mixed by people who abuse fentanyl, according to the Drug Enforcement Agency. The driver was killed in the crash. Rossi is what only focusing on what I he still has and on rebuilding. I don't know why it happened, but I do know it was incredible that nobody else got hurt. You know, so, so that's that's that, that's the angle I viewed it to look at this situation from. OK, that it could have been so much worse. Juniors is destroyed and 42 years of memories many in the community made here is shattered. The impact on the community is clear, as you can see on the fence where someone put up the letters spelling out goodbye, old friend. But to Rossi, it's more like see you again soon. So as soon as we have something concrete, we'll definitely put it out there, you know, and uh, we'll definitely be back. The owner says the debris removal here will begin in mid-November, but as to what will be built here, that has yet to be determined. In Hyde Park, Darius Radzius, News 12.